Well, there is no live at four broadcast tomorrow, as we mentioned, due to the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Also, Eric, say hi. Eric. Hi, Eric. <laughs> you are the shot. You, welcome. I just want to be part of the show. <laughs> well, we end the year with a special Thursday edition of the News Hounds. Here's Louie and Oliver. Here's the News Hounds. Louie and Oliver with their World News Roundup. This week on the News Hounds, a rare rhino birth, rare white lion triplets, and a rare dancing lemur. But first, judges at an unusual beauty parade in Nepal were faced with a tough decision. How do you rate a painted elephant against its rivals? About a dozen elephants were paraded through the tourist city of Saraha, Nepal, after their handlers spent hours cleaning them, painting their heads with intricate patterns, and applying eye makeup and nail varnish. The annual event attracted hundreds of tourists as the panel of five judges checked each entrance decorations, obedience, walking style, and cleanliness. The Oregon Zoo's 11-year-old eastern black rhinoceros, Josie, has given birth to a calf. Josie's baby holds much significance for the western subspecies of black rhino. Josie and her companion, King, are considered critically endangered. In 2011, the species was declared extinct in the wild. Caregivers say the first-time mom and her new baby are doing well in the maternity den. Rhino babies typically weigh about 100 pounds at birth, and visitors won't be able to see the newborn until it gets bigger and the weather gets warmer. Three rare white lion cubs were born this week at a zoo in Venezuela. These are the first white lions born in Venezuela, and these little ones are contributing to a species in danger of extinction worldwide. Studies show there are no more than 200 white lions left in the world. The cubs had to be separated from their mother for several medical complications to receive special care. And finally, the Chester Zoo in London released the first video of a critically endangered Cocoel Sifakis baby, also known as Dancing Lemur, that was recently born at the zoo. Born to mom 11-year-old Beatrice and 10-year-old dad Elliot, the rare baby lemur weighs around a quarter of a pound and came into the world after a five-month gestation. Lemur babies ride on their mother's back for about three months until they're ready to explore the world on their own. That'll be the time zookeepers will be able to determine the sex of the newborn. By the way, they're called dancing lemurs because of the way they can sprint from side to side using their powerful legs. They can leap more than 20 feet to the treetops in a single bound. And that's this week's edition of The News Hounds. Happy New Year, everyone. That's Dance. how I'm going to get around now. <laughs> you can start doing that? <laughs> All right. Great leg workout. Have a happy New Year. Safe and happy New Year, everyone. We'll see you back here on Tuesday.